after retirement from the army can apply for accommodation at the Royal Hospital Chelsea, which again... It's Battersea Park on the left. In central London, but south Chelsea, of the river. Chelsea Bridge. We have Henry VIII. On the left, the we have Charles III. King's and in the middle, we have the King, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley has never been to either, but you never know. But he is the king. This is the, uh, so this is the the Griffin Brewery, Brewery today owned by the Fuller's. Griffin the Griffin Brewery. Brewery has been here since before the time of Charles I. So it's been here since the 1600s. Today you can do tours of the brewery with Fuller's. 1955. On the wall here on the left, you can see the griffin, the griffin symbol again. When Fuller's has grown and continues to grow here, in spite of the plague, the civil war, the blitz, all sorts of problems, and it grows on. So London Pride is seen as an appropriate name for it's the a, new brewery. It's a flower. London Pride is a flower. Well, we're finally at Hampton Court. This gives you the prices here, 20 pounds to get in. Here's the queen with her entourage following behind into the court of Hampton. Henry VIII did all this stuff here. And there's our tour guides up there somewhere, James and Carol. There's kitchen so far, Folka. Well, if I have lots of people serving. A thousand people, typically they were serving every day. So they went through the number of cows, a thousand cows a year, and. 800 sheep, lots of stuff. There's no escaping the heat. And the turn brooch would be doing probably two spits, so there's no way you can sort of lean away from the fire. And there may be two, one either end, so you have four spits on the fire. Cooking hundreds of meals twice every day, you need six fireplaces. And there were six fireplaces in here? There's three in here. There's one next door and two in the previous room. Okay. And, and what do you do with the meat when it's done? It goes to members of staff like it would have done. Oh, really? Staff. That's your lunch? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Great idea. Uh, there's plenty of options. So this is, I know it has beef flank. Yeah, that's flank. So like flank steaks. Like a flank roast, I guess. Yeah. Yeah? Served to the staff. Neat. But they changed their name from flank to knuckle about um, five years ago. So. Well, that's with an M, the first letter? Muckle, are you saying? Or knuckle, K-N, knuckle. Like, like your knuckles. Well, that's... Let's start up a fire. I guess a new one. Getting his bellows out. Seen anyone started using the tinder. This is a tinder box from ancient days. Uh, the tinder box is just a box for keeping your tinder in. Like right. Match box is a box for keeping matches right. in. This is the tinder that we use. It's uh, an old piece of cloth. It used to look like this. Okay. And when you turn it into charcoal, it looks like this. Oh. Yeah? That's why it's called char cloth. Cloth made into charcoal. Charcoal. Okay. Um, now fire needs three things to make it work. Fuel, oxygen in the air we breathe and right. heat and the heat is produced by making sparks okay and so what you do is capture the spark on the tinder yeah you then put it into another fuel which we've got wood shavings it could be dry grass straw something like that Fine straw and then that yeah. turns it into a flame right are you ready i'm ready i've been shooting all this time gotcha so all you need is that little spark yeah huh? Oh my goodness. Wow. Super. So this is what they'd use out in the field too if they wanted to you use it make in a domestic house, in the in field. Anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Neat. And then to put it out you take one of the three things fire needs away and we're going to take the oxygen away. Ready? Right. Yeah. Super. No oxygen. No oxygen, no fire. You got it. Neat. Yeah, it was gone. That's great. But if you think of it. Shark cloth was still burning, so you just had to take that out. You could conceivably just start it again. Yeah. So you got to make sure it's out. Yeah. Otherwise it would just burn all of the... Uh, 
the shave is. Come on, have to come. Because if you if you put it back in the tinder, it, if I just put this down, if you put it in the tinder box no. with the lid, would that kill it? If we have a little tiny damper to okay. keep the hair away. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. That's great. This is the chapel court, courtyard, with flowers and all these emblems. I'm going to catch each one here. It's a beautiful dragon here. Shades of Game of Thrones. The flowers are absolutely perfect. There's a unicorn with his head turned around backwards facing his tail. Maybe that's showing that they could rotate their heads all the way around. And these are white roses, I believe. Here's a speckled tiger with some gold uh, whiskers, <laughs> gold nostrils, I guess, as well, sitting on these posts. These posts are sort of monitoring the flower beds. And here's the gardener doing his thing there, cutting off some of the flowers that are had that have had it, trimming them down. And this white greyhound has a chain, a gold chain around his neck, so obviously he wasn't going to get away. Interesting poles. And this is a view of the the chapel courtyard. I'm not sure where the chapel is, but we're in the courtyard of the chapel. Well, this is the coffee shop, which has been turned over from one of the uh, oven areas, I guess, with some interesting windows. And I'm going to take a picture of this recipe to make some kind of a preserve or sweet meat of oranges and lemons. Take your peels by quarters and steep them in water. Add it again to the water has no bitterness. And now I'll use it as to prepare a syrup, place them in a glass or a pot. We've heard recipes on the excellent audio guide that they give you when you make your entrance in here. Well, this is some eggs, bacon, and sausage breakfast. Bacon buddy. Oh, well, there's Henry VIII in all his glory. We are in his great hall which has a magnificent stained glass window on the south end, I believe that is. Beautifully carved ceilings. Some beautiful elk heads mounted on the wall. Steve would like this rack right here. Priceless tapestries. These are real tapestries on the walls. I'm sitting with folk and I'm just doing a swivel here. Some more elk. Okay, heads, another stained glass window, and the entrance, or maybe that's the throne room there. Huh? Well, this is a dining table made up with linen figures. This is all hand, how do they describe Starched linen, intricately folded and shaped into beasts, vegetables, and animals came from the royal courts of Germany. This is when the king dined publicly, it says. Beautiful paintings in here. Masterpieces. So there's the hounds. Hounds at rest. What's he doing? Fighting. This is the privy chamber where the princess would sit and have audiences with people. Costumes designed over the day. This is the game room. They got a bunch of card tables here with different kinds of games, poker games. Beautiful tapestries and paintings in here. Let's so we'll scan this up to the ceiling. Look at this ceiling. Monopoly, early version. 
This is the bedchamber of the Prince and Princess of Wales from 1917 time frame. Some more priceless tapestries on the walls. It says it's the Queen's bedroom, I guess, going into that, or is this the Queen's bedroom? Another one of the galleries. 